Hello everyone, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing on with our Amtrak train, and we're going to be building this bi-level observation and lounge car. So let's get to it. I'm going to be adding this to the Amtrak train I'm already building. So I'm going to come on down on the back behind this sleeper car here, and we're going to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler. And we're going to put one going that way. Behind that, we put a block of stone, and on each side of the stone, on the upper portion, a stone slab. And then on the outside edges, another block of stone on each side. Put a dark oak fence on each of the outsides here to be the MU cables. Then we're going to make a row of three stone behind that, and then a row of five stone behind that. Come on down underneath and take out a dark oak fence gate to be the air hose. And we're going to put that under the coupler and coming all the way back. Behind that, we need to put a block of netherite on the rail. Delete the block used for placement. An end rod for an axle and another netherite for the other wheel. Then, nether brick slabs in a 3x3 on the upper hitbox. And then another set of wheels, so netherite on each rail and an end rod axle. Switch to polished blackstone stairs on these ones upside down facing backwards, these ones upside down and facing forwards. Then switch to polished blackstone slabs and put a row of three coming across the bottom there. And the same thing on this side, a row of three slabs. And that will complete the design for the truck. Come around on top with a stone block and we're going to fill in this whole next top layer here on both sides and then we're going to fill in the middle and leaving the end open and we're going to put stone slabs across the end there. Come on in on this bottom edge here and bring it out with stone blocks by 10 so it's 10 blocks long and then we can go ahead and fill in this whole bottom to the other side of the train tracks. Then we're going to place two blocks on the top corners here to mark out the edges of the door in the center of the car. Extend the bottom out by another 2x5. And then we're going to come down on the edge and we're going to come out another 10 blocks. I'm going to come up here and place a marker block there so I know where the doors are. Then we can go ahead and fill all this in. Now I'm putting another marker block on this side to mark the door there. Now we gotta build the next truck, so netherite on each rail with an end rod axle, a 3x3 of nether brick slabs on the upper hitbox, another set of netherite wheels, and an end rod axle. Switch to polished blackstone stairs, upside down backwards facing here, upside down forwards facing on these ones, then polished blackstone slabs three across the bottom middle on the outside edge. Above this truck we're gonna fill in with stone blocks. Same thing on both sides. And then we're gonna turn around. And we're gonna fill in this middle three. And we're gonna bring that all the way forward until we get to this last set of wheels in the middle here. And we're gonna put slabs there. Come around behind this and we put three blocks in the middle and then one block in the middle sticking out. Slabs on each side of that and then a block on the outside corners. Take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler. Stack it up where it needs to be. Delete the one you use for placement. Underneath, three dark oak fence gates in the middle to be the air hose. Then switch to dark oak fence and put one of them on each corner to be the MU cables. In these corner gaps, there's like a little step ladder, so place an upside down andesite stair and an andesite slab underneath it. And do that in all four corners. So upside down polish andesite stair, and then polish andesite slab underneath it. And then we gotta do the same thing on the other side. So an upside down stair here with a slab underneath it. And one more to go, come on down to this end. Another upside down stair in that gap, and a slab underneath it. Then we're going to put iron bars on each side of all of these corner ladders here. 
So two iron bars on each side there, iron bar on each side here, and one more to go. Iron bar on each side here. Now we're gonna come back in and take out our stone block here, and we're gonna fill in these outside edges on this next level. So just go ahead and drag it all the way forward. Same thing on this side. And we gotta do it over here as well, so fill these ones here too. Now we're gonna work on the next layer up. So come on down to this end of the car and take out your stone block. We're gonna put one on each corner. Then we're gonna switch to a smooth stone block here because there's all kinds of vents and doors on this side of the car. We're gonna bring two smooth stone blocks out on each side and we're gonna go ahead and put another two on top of them. In front of that, we're gonna use light gray shulker boxes on each side. Then we're gonna switch back to stone in a row of two stone. In front of those, another column of shulker boxes. In front of those, another column of stone on each side. In front of that, a three by two of late gray wool. In front of those, a three by two of smooth stone blocks on each side. In front of that, we switch back to our regular stone blocks and make a column. And then, light gray shulker boxes again. And in front of that, we're gonna bring stone to the door, but here I realized the mistake, we're only bringing it one high on these three. Now, just to highlight some of these vents more, we're gonna take out a ladder and we're gonna place them everywhere there's the regular stone block columns. So we should have three rows of two ladders, just like that. Place one stone block on each edge of those doors and this car is asymmetrical, it has a lounge. So three black stained glass and then a block. Three more black stained glass and another block. And one more time, three stained glass, and then a block. Then we place a block on the very end of the car, and we fill the middle with a two by three of light gray wool. We're gonna come around and mirror this on the other side. So on the end, we place a block of stone, a two by three of light gray wool, another block of stone, then three black stained glass, block of stone, three black stained glass, block of stone, and three more black stained glass. Then we're gonna come on down starting on this side. We're gonna take out blue concrete. One in each corner here, skip ahead. One in these three here on each side. And we can go ahead and come across the top of that door there. And we're gonna make sure not to cover where there's windows. So just where there's stone, put blue concrete and then two there and two on the end. Now we go ahead and fill in the tops of all these windows with black stained glass panes on both sides. Now we take out white concrete and we make a row going end to end on both sides of the car. Now we do the exact same thing on the next layer up with red concrete coming down end to end on both sides of the car. Come on down inside the car here, we're gonna mark out where the stairs will be. And the stairs are gonna be on the side that doesn't have windows. So on the white concrete, we're gonna place one and two going that way. And then we're gonna turn it so the staircase comes up like that. So the top stair should be above the door. Now we're gonna come on down on the outside and above where the middle doors are, place a stone block on each side so it lines up with the door underneath it. Same thing there, so there should be a two wide gap. Extend that up by two, and then we skip three, another column, skip three, another column, skip three, another column. Same thing here. So all these columns should be lined up with the support columns of the windows below them. And 
we're going to do the same thing here. Since this side doesn't have windows to use as a guide on bottom, we're going to switch to black glass block for these top windows here. So three, and then a column, three, and then a column, another three, and a column. And then we'll come over and match it up on the other side. So a column, column there, column there. And then we're just going to come in and fill in between all of these columns on both sides of the car with black glass blocks. Now each end of the car is slightly different. On the end of the side of the car that has windows, each end gets a 2x2 two two of stone and then fill in the gap with black glass blocks. Then we're going to come down and do the other side. And on this side, there's no windows. It's a little bit easier. We're just going to go ahead and fill everything in with stone block. So just fill everything in. Both sides. Come to the end of the car here and make a 3x3 three three of light gray wool. Then a column of two on each side here. And then come across the top with light gray wool. Let's go down to the other end of the car and do the same thing. So in the end we make a 3x3 three three of light gray wool, a column of two on each side, and then come across the top. Now we're going to start working on the interior. Take out white concrete and on the side of this door here, we're going to make a 2x2 two two to block in the stairs and then raise that one up by another two. Here we make a 2x3. Take out warp stairs on the window side, one block back from the door. Put them that way, skip a block and rotate the other way. Then come back and face them this way, rotate, skip a block this way. And do the same thing one more time. There's some tables, like little booths here, because this is the lounge car where you can get snacks. In these gaps between the seats on both sides, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out a birch fence to be the table post, and put one in each of these gaps on both sides, and then on top of that, white carpet to be the tabletop. So now we have all these booths for the little snack lounge. Behind here in this corner, we'll make a bathroom. So on each edge here, right behind the windows, we'll make a column of stone on each side to frame in a doorway. We're going to take polished andesite stairs upside down, make them coming out too, delete this one, and make it facing the opposite way. On the back above that, a polished andesite slab, and then a trap door for our toilet. Then we're going to go into our inventory here and take out a grindstone and put that on the side for the roll of toilet paper. Now we're going to come on down to the other side of the car and this one's a little different. This is where the actual snack bar part of the lounge is. And in pictures it didn't look like it extended all the way back. So I'm just going to assume there's machinery back there and you can't get to that part of the car. And we're going to fill this in with a 3x3 three three of stone block. In this corner we're going to put two blast furnaces, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to rotate and put three blocks of netherite to be like piping. Three cauldrons coming out this way actually make that four. We're going to alternate some colors of carpet on top of here to make it look kind of like a little salad bar type deal. On the blocks above that, put some blocks of glass to be like the sneeze guard on the salad bar. Now we're going to make a vending machine, so two columns of lapis lazuli, in the middle, light blue glass. Put an end frame there with an end crystal in it for the screen, and buttons on all the rest. Now there's a little vending machine. Now we're going to make a refrigerator, so a 2x2 two two of quartz, come around this way, and two iron doors. Now the snack bar portion is complete and we're going to light this, so place a torch here, and a torch here. We're going to go ahead and put a torch on each of these columns between the windows and on the outside of the bathroom there and the inside of the bathroom. We're going to come on down here and we'll place a torch, two of them right there, and then 
and one right here to light up the snack bar. Now the pictures I seen had green floors in this lounge, so start at that snack bar and just start filling everything where nothing's built with dark green carpet. That'll make the floor look a little better. Turn around here and place a door on the bathroom. And then we have to do the rest of the doors. So for the outside, I like to use this birch door. Use whatever door looks best to you. We don't have gray doors. So one on each end of the car. And we have to fill in two on the middle doors here on the lower level. And then, of course, one on this end here. And then come around and do that other side on the lower level with two doors. Now we're going to come inside here in front of our door with stone block and we're going to fill in this whole row where the white concrete is end to end. This will be our floor and divider between the levels. So just keep bringing it forward here and when we get to the stairs we're going to stop right there. Here we take out a white concrete block and we're going to extend these two up by another two and that one up by another one. Then we switch back to stone, bring it up here and there. And then we can go ahead and continue on and fill in this half of the car with it. Now we're going to edit these stairs here. So we're going to come in and we're going to actually turn this top stair. So delete that and we're going to turn the stair so that it's facing this way. On the edge of that, two white concrete to be like the railing. Go ahead and fill that in. And we're going to put closed trap doors across here. Then we can delete that temporary block and now that trap door closes that gap. Put one here just so it matches. Then here I was just testing to make sure the stairs work. And here I had an error. I had one more stair place where it shouldn't be. So delete that. And now we're good. The stairs actually work. We can get up and down in this tiny space we have to work with. Now this top half is the observation part of the observation car. And these seats usually face the window, so I'm gonna place them this way. And I'm just gonna leave a gap between them all and bring them out probably to here. And then we're gonna mirror that on the other side. I think in real life these seats turn, but most of the time they're facing the window. And we'll come down and do the same thing on the other side here. Two there, two there and here. And now we have all our seats in place. On this end, where there's no windows, just to fill it in, we're going to build a shelving unit. So put a column of temporary blocks on this one side. Then we're going to take out an iron door and we're going to have to come around like this to place it. Put an iron door there, delete your temporary blocks. Go ahead and come into your inventory here and get an iron trapdoor. Then we're going to put iron trapdoors coming across to the end here and here so we have shelving. In this corner we'll put a composter for a trash can, throw some leaves in there so it looks like trash, and then a lector. Now we're going to do our lighting for the upper deck. So place a torch in each corner on the end here. Come on down to the other end and a torch each corner there and then we're just going to come through and we're going to put a torch on every single column between the windows here because this is the observation car we want lots of light in here so it'll look nice and lit up when it's nighttime and just come through with torches and do the same thing on this side everywhere there's a column put a torch now take out your stone bricks and in the middle fill in a three by two and it's different because this is the observation car here. So only the middle gets the stone and then black glass on the outside. And everywhere there's a column, we make it come all the way across so it looks like it's arching over. And then come down the middle with stone, outsides with glass. And just keep doing that. Everywhere there's a column, it comes all the way across. And everywhere there's a window, glass goes on the outside edges. This end has 
no windows, so we can fill in this middle three with just all stone here. Now we don't have glass stairs, so to simulate the curvature of the window, we're going to use black stained glass panes. Everywhere there's a window in these corners, put black stained glass panes on both sides of the car. Now on the rest of this upper edge, we're just going to use stone stairs. And then the same thing, everywhere there's a column, put in a stone stair. All the way down to the other end. And fill in these two. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So two stairs here, one everywhere there's a column. And just keep bringing it forward like that. And then on this end, we fill it all in with stairs. Now we're going to come between the cars here and under the door, iron trap door for the walkway, and a polished black stone slab there. Then, polished black stone wall, starting there and coming all the way up above the door, we come around the middle and fill in across the top of the door too, and then down on the other side as well, so there's a nice little walkway between the cars. Then we're going to come down to the other end of the car and we got to build that same thing. So, under the door, an iron trap door. Under that, a polished black stone slab. Then, starting one below the door, on each side, polished black stone wall, coming up and over the door. Then we're gonna take out a redstone torch for the marker lights on each end here, and come down and do it on this end as well. And here I realized it's actually on the second block down. So I placed them on this end, and I have to go back down to this end and move them. So delete that one, and move it down one block. And then this new detail is something I missed when I was building the previous cars. There's these green lights on the outsides of the bottom doors, and I think they're used so the engineer can look in the mirror, see the green light, and know all the doors are closed. So we're going to put this on each side of the doors here. And since I missed it in all my previous cars, I'm going to go through the whole train and put them on all of the cars. And there we have it folks. We've completed this bi-level observation and lounge car. And now I'm switching the time here so we can see what it looks like at night all lit up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more because we still have a couple more cars to build for this Amtrak train.